My mother and her nephew and niece were heavy drinkers living in this uh, site here in number three reserve in the Nanaimo First Nation. He drank every week, much to their own destruction and pain. But lo and behold, one time we were listening to a, a religious station, a person called Don Gossett. 1960. I think it was January of 1960. He was a Pentecost or evangelist, whatever you want to call them. Very vibrant, very vociferous, and commanding in his presentation. It had effect on my mother, Harry, Johnny, and Sally Paul. He said he was going to come over the next two weeks to Ladysmith and have a service there. And all people that were having trouble and wanted to change their lives and get saved, to use their word, come to the meeting. So my mother, Harry, Johnny, and Sally Paul went. I didn't think too much of it then because I wasn't very fond of religion because of the residential school, Catholics and Anglicans, how they treated our Indian people. He's still kind of leery about evangelists as well. But anyway, my mother, her niece and nephew went. Lo and behold, they got saved. They quit drinking, quit partying, quit swearing, became civilized, and lived that way till they died. So, if you're asking what things impacted me about a time of change, that was one of the things that I've seen with my own eyes, experienced, close at hand, because I lived with them right here where we're talking now, and see them keep in that same state till they died. Changed people. So that at least gave me a belief I can see that people can change the right circumstances present themselves.